The month of May 2018 for the majority of Israeli Jews is a historical month to be remembered and celebrated. The United States has moved its embassy to Jerusalem and withdrawn from the Iran nuclear deal. The Gaza protest did not turn into another war. And despite the latest escalation, the international condemnation of Israel's response did not translate into a UN resolution. But in the U.S., the same historical month gives yet more evidence to the divisions between American Jews. Here, you won't find a consensus. On one side, you have the 30% uh, of Jews who think that um, Israel is always right, that this situation was imposed on it. And on the other side, you have the 70% of Jews who think Israel must have had a different way out and didn't take it. Or the smaller, the tiny number who think Israel just likes taking Arab lives. On May 14th, whereas the new U.S. Embassy festivities took place in Jerusalem, 62 Palestinians were killed on the Israel-Gaza border during intense clashes. Which side are you on? In Washington, D.C., a small group of American Jews protested the embassy move and the subsequent violence. We believe that that's an embassy that represents endless occupation. As disputed as they are, Trump's Jerusalem announcement and embassy move to American Jews are still not as controversial as Israel's acts in Gaza. I feel really conflicted because I do believe that the IDF is trying their best to deal with an unruly situation. That said, there's also a lot of evidence that the Israelis n have known for a long time that Gaza was going to blow. Our organization, for example, took out a full page out of the New York Times criticizing Natalie Portman, who decides to boycott Israel seemingly based on what's going on in Gaza. And we pointed out that, you know, Natalie, Hamas threatens to kill you too. And there's no reason for Hamas to be staging these protests at all other than the fact that they want to destroy Israel. So, Natalie, what do you want Israel to do? Do you want Israel to not respond when they breach the border? You wanna, do you think that the murder of 20 or 30 Israeli farmers on the border is acceptable? It seems that the majority of Israeli Jews shared a sentiment of Rabbi Shmuley. Earlier this month, Israel's Channel 2 founded a survey that a whopping 83% of the Israeli public believe that the IDF's firing policy in Gaza conflicts is justified. <laughs> Israeli half of me um, understands that this is the game. The American half of me um, still clings to the idea that there must be a better way. Tal Heinrich, I-24 News.